And with me in studio, just to break that down, is a lawyer, Peter Wanyama. Basically, what we're looking at is what it means when we talk about provisional results, when we're talking about um, this Form 34 and Form 34B, uh, what that means. And um, one of the things that, of course, you, you are mentioning, and maybe we can start off from there or continue from there, you mentioned that uh, NASA had gone to court. Mm -hmm. basically to have this announced at the constituency level. Is that what is happening and is that what we're announcing now as the provisional results? No, uh, in terms of the court uh, a case which was filed by NASA, mm -hmm. there was a contention as who is supposed to uh, um, announce the presidential results with, uh, with that element of finality. And the court was very, very clear that in accordance with Section 39 of the uh, Elections Act, it is a county, it is the constituency returning officer who is supposed to uh, tally, uh, verify, and then uh, declare the presidential results. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, when this is done, they do, uh, the results are supposed to be final in, uh, uh, insofar as uh, that issue is concerned. Mm -hmm. What is supposed to happen then is, sub is, is a question of transmission. Uh, for purposes of tallying at the center and then right. final declaration by the, by the presidential IABC. returning officer mm -hmm. who is the chairperson of the IEBC. Mm -hmm. So uh, in my view, everything is actually consistent uh, with what the court uh, has said. Mm -hmm. uh, what I need to emphasize here is that these results have already been announced at the constituency level. Mm -hmm. So there ought to be no discrepancy at all unless the system, uh, unless IBC is saying that the system uh, can be impeached. Mm -hmm. if, the, if, if, if the results which have gone through the system are the ones which are actually announced uh, at, 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 at the... At, There's at, not uh, likely to be much of a change then once... Ab absolutely. We in fact, in my view, if, this, if, there, is, if there is change... Uh, of, of the elections uh, in terms of what has been projected, mm -hmm. then the integrity of the system then will be an issue. Mm -hmm. So the results which are in Form 34A shall, shall tally with the results which uh, uh, have been projected uh, for, uh, for purposes of, 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 of that final determination. Okay, so for, for the sake of clarity, yeah, yeah. given that, uh, because cause it's almost being between a rock and a hard place here, um, for the sake of clarity, those announcements that IBC has, or rather the, the figures that have been put on the portal, what is the source of the figure if it is not the Form 34A or Form 34B? Yeah, ideally the source of the figures, and that is what is supposed to happen, the source of the figures in the portal is supposed to be Form 34A. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the actual results which were, uh, were announced at, by, the, uh, by, by the county uh, returning officer. And right. by now... Remember that we have already gone to look uh, 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 to verify and um, and um, and deal with the other results of the other position. Uh, that means MP, a MCA, and all that. So mm -hmm. it, what it means is that by now we ought to have completed the issue of the presidential uh, results because it is given first and paramount consideration even at the at the tallying center. That at the tallying the center. But of course, what what IEBC said yesterday is the fact that they are waiting for also the agents to verify uh, on behalf of their, their their presidential candidates before they can announce because they they also need to have to be sure that it is there. But that remains final. Yeah, I think the verification is important because there are concerns which have been by NASA that the system may have been interfered with. So that verification then brings in the, the element of transparency uh, and accountability and also openness. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will then uh, ensure that the results which IEBC eventually announced mm -hmm. is accurate and the results which have been verified by, uh, by all the parties uh, in these elections. All right. The other thing that comes up, of course, is that the NASA presidential candidate, Raila Odinga, has come out to say that he has evidence of the system being hacked. Um, and, of course, that has been discounted by IEBC. They have said that is not true. They have no formal complaint, again, uh, from NASA uh, uh, or, or from the presidential candidate of the system being hacked. But where does that leave us now on a legal perspective in terms of the results, even if they announce them today? You know, ultimately, uh, there, are, there, are, there are two perspectives on that issue. Mm -hmm. The hacking of uh, the IEBC data is a serious crime, uh, uh, under the Electoral Offences Act, mm -hmm. it's punishable by a fine of 10 million wow. or imprisonment for uh, uh, t uh, more than 10 years. So I, th I think the aspect of hacking itself must be investigated as well uh, by the appropriate agency. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, IEBC also has a right within uh, its mechanisms to ensure that it, it, it does a systems audit to ensure that uh, uh, the system is not uh, uh, impeached. However, in terms of the finality, mm -hmm. remember these allegations can be 
be made. And it's up to NASA then to come forward and uh, bring evidence that the hacking of the system may have interfered with the results in the following uh, manner and in the following uh, 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 constituencies or counties. However, without the actual evidence of how the system uh, was interfered with and how the, that interference has affected the presidential results, because here uh, it's, it, it's important to emphasize that NASA is, appears to be concerned about more about the presidential results. Yes. Uh, and uh, the system has been used to, 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 uh, to channel all the other results. All the other results. And so if, the, if, if all the other results are consistent with what we are seeing on the board, then in my view, uh, uh, we need to give IEBC time to finish uh, uh, the process and announce uh, the result. Because at the end of the day, there must be that announcement. No matter what the, uh, the allegations that NASA uh, are raising, there must be some kind of announcement by IEBC because they have a deadline of seven days and time is running fast, the anxiety is building, so they must announce these results. And what I need to emphasize is that, is that the, the, the IEBC really should be very, very careful uh, so as not to uh, be a forum where they are determining uh, the dispute which has, which has arisen out of the, of the presidential process. Mm -hmm. The law is very, very clear that any dispute which arises out of that presidential uh, goes uh, process to uh, goes to the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. So what IABC is supposed to be doing is the routine administrative uh, verification of, of the results to ensure that they announce it. But to, in terms of sitting and hearing the complaint, mm -hmm. then that's an issue which NASA should build up evidence and then go to the Supreme Court if at all they want to challenge the results which, are, uh, which, which will be announced by the commission. All right, so assuming then there is a challenge, what is the way forward now for Kenya? If, if, if uh, there is indeed uh, contention with the results once IEBC announced them? You know, if there is contention with the, the, with the results... Which is likely to be. Uh, of course, uh, based on the, on the NASA claims, they're mm. most likely they are not going to accept these results. Right. So if that is going to be the case, mm. uh, I think now it becomes a purely uh, presidential election uh, dispute, uh, which in accordance with the Constitution and our laws is supposed to be determined by the Supreme Court. If NASA believes in the rule of law, and uh, of course the, court is, the, the courts are independent, we've seen that. If NASA be believes in the rule of law, uh, I think the most uh, logical thing to do is to bring up the evidence and go uh, to the Supreme Court. More likely than not, if they have the evidence, the, 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 the Supreme Court will quash the results and we'll, we'll do another election. But if, if, the if they have no evidence, mm -hmm. then it means the, the, the results will stand. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. All right. And if the elections are quashed, then we go for another election. Absolutely. Does Absolutely. this mean that we now have to nullify all the results? No, that, that is now, again, a scenario-dependent uh, uh, question. Uh, if the Supreme Court is persuaded that based on the evidence on record, the entire presidential result ought to be cancelled, then they'll go ahead and make uh, that determination. Mm -hmm. But if they believe that uh, uh, there are no irregularities, then the results will stand. stand. So it's a question of now evidence mm -hmm. and uh, the Supreme Court applying its mind to the matter and uh, seeing the extent to which that evidence uh, can then be accepted or rejected. Okay, so this runs through for all the other candidates because, again, we also have uh, the Nairobi governor, the outgoing Nairobi governor, if these results are anything to go by, uh, well, complaining and saying that the, the, the whole election, again, is a sham. You know, in law, there's no such uh, room as rejecting results. So it doesn't exist uh, 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 in law. What you need to do is that when, once, I, once the county returning officer has declared the position of, uh, of uh, that the governor position has been won by a particular candidate, mm -hmm. that remains. So the legal options available to anyone who mm -hmm. uh, is then dissatisfied with the results is to move uh, the high court uh, for purpose of declaring those uh, results null and void uh, so, so that we have a, a, a by-election. A by-election. Yeah. So uh, really, all these candidates who are coming out and, uh, and, and, and saying they're rejecting the results, mm -hmm. uh, I think that it, it, that's just political posturing. What they need to do is really collect evidence, ensure that they have enough evidence to to quash those results, even if, if indeed they believe that the entire... Uh, and the, and there is a procedure uh, to do that, uh, of course, uh, legally speaking. But even at what point do you reject... Well, you say there's no legal term as rejecting results. But what time, at what point do you contest those results? Because most of them are contesting the provisional results, meaning they're not even verified. Uh, I think we need also to get uh, accurate information from IABC. Uh, the county returning officer is supposed to declare the results for governor 
mem uh, uh, senator mm -hmm. and uh, women representative. Mm -hmm. So when that has been done, then those results are final, and then the persons who have been declared as winners are issued with, with a certificate. Right. And, and of course, after that, then they can be sworn in into their respective positions. Mm -hmm. So anyone, after that has been done, after the county returning officer has done uh, that statutory responsibility, so anyone can then go to court after that. So, uh, so what it means is that uh, by now, anyone who is dissatisfied with any, uh, uh, with any results, whether governor, pres uh, presidential, uh, member of parliament, senator, MCA, should be building up evidence. Because in terms of announcement, it is being done as we speak. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just waiting for the presidential results to be, uh, uh, to be declared mm -hmm. uh, at, 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 the county, uh, returning, at, 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 at the county level already. Some candidates have been declared winners, mm. and uh, that process is. Some of them are even already celebrated. Ab ab absolutely. So <laughs> yeah. anyone who then has a problem with the, with that declaration, the remedy is very simple. Mm. For MCA position, you go to the magistrate's court. Mm. For member of parliament position, women rep, senator, and uh, governor, then you file your your, your 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 complaint to the high court. All right. The other thing that had been raised as these results continue trickling in is also how consistent. Uh, the margin seems to be. Most of them seems to be 54%. Is that something that maybe should be a cause of concern? Uh, I'm not an expert <laughs> in terms of statistics, <laughs> mm. uh, but I believe if those are the, re the results which uh, reflect the will of Kenyans, then mm. they are genuine results. Mm. And here we, re we, we need to ensure that uh, uh, fast things are done fast. Has IEBC done an audit of its system? If yes, then uh, the, the results which are then passing through its system uh, uh, um, remain are correct results. Mm -hmm. And therefore, whatever the statistical posturing that we are seeing, mm -hmm. uh, uh, then it means those results are final. So mm -hmm. I, I, I really don't uh, well, think that that uh, should be an issue of concern. Uh, what should be an issue of concern is whether uh, the results as portrayed have been affected in any way by external interference uh, into, uh, into the IEBC uh, system. system. All right. Now, should the opposition use the legal channel that is available and uh, for, uh, 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 file a formal complaint to the Supreme Court contesting the results? What period of time are we seeing in terms legally for this now to be determined? Uh, I'm sure there are time frames that have been put there in place to be determined and then for the, high, the Supreme Court now to give us an indication as to whether they reject the results and whether we go for another presidential race or uh, what are the time frames we're looking at here? Yeah, as soon as, 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 soon as the, the results are declared, uh, in this case the, presidential, the, 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 the presidential results, the, the NASA, remember the timelines are very, very short. Eh? So NASA should move with speed to ensure that, uh, uh, of course, from the look of things, most likely than not, Uhuru is going to be declared as a winner of the elections. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if the system and, and the results uh, that we are seeing uh, are accurate, remember that he has met uh, the, the constitutional threshold based on the results which are on, 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 the, on, the, uh, on the screen. Secondly, is, is that Uhuru has gotten uh, 35 uh, he, he's won at least 25% uh, of the votes in at least 35 counties. That's very, very significant. Raila has 20, uh, 25. So both of them meet the constitutional threshold insofar as that question is concerned. But then on the most critical one, of 50 plus one uh, threshold, then uh, uh, Uhuru appears to be meeting that. So uh, the Supreme Court will be seized of the, of the petition and they have strict timelines to ensure that uh, they deliver uh, justice to the complainants mm -hmm. and of course also to the respondents. Okay. Uh, again, maybe the expectations that Kenyans have, because one of the things, of course, uh, that was feared is violence breaking out, especially because there's going to be a winner and a loser at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah. There has to be a winner and there has to be a loser Absolutely. once it's said and done. But maybe just to manage uh, Kenyans' expectations on what uh, we should expect to play out. We have, IEBC has seven days, legally speaking, and it's seven days from what? The time voting is closed? Uh... uh the time, uh, the seven days that kick in, uh, we, uh, remember that uh, once the voting has, has, has been completed, and, and, and the voting was completed uh, uh, two days ago mm -hmm. uh, at 6 p.m., then the, the, the seven days uh, duration uh, starts st from uh, the st time polls start are closed. Ab absolutely, mm -hmm. uh, they start kicking in. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and we are running out of time insofar as, as that issue is concerned. That's why I'm really concerned about what is happening at Bomas. Uh, verifying 40,000. Uh, 
uh, form 34 as is really a logistical uh, nightmare, nightmare. Mm. and remember th uh, what the ktn uh, report on the ground was saying is that uh, some candidates were not even connecting to their with, with their agents for purpose of getting information mm. as to where the forms which are bombers are the ones which uh, they actually signed on the ground so uh, the risk which ibc should manage at bombers is to ensure that that verification process is not done in, in, in uh, forever to the point where they are unable to uh, to meet the constitutional deadline for s of, of seven days. Mm -hmm. So no matter what happens, chips must, chips must fall. Right. Within seven days, the results must, be, must be declared. Mm -hmm. And to me, as the, the sooner the better. Remember that these results are already known. As I said, the announcement for purpose of transparency and all the presidential result uh, candidates are supposed to be, uh, to be having these results. Mm. So what is supposed to happen is it's a simple administrative uh, verification to ensure that it is accurate. Otherwise, the, the, the results have already been uh, announced by the, by the constituency returning office as required by law. Mm. So what is this fuss that we are... Um, uh, that we are seeing. Why, why are we focusing too much on bombers, yet we actually know the results? Unless there are other factors at play, these results are supposed to be known. Remember that both NASA and Jubilee say that they had their own tallying centers. Mm -hmm. So what happened to those? Mm -hmm. Uh, to that initiative of telling the results. Absolutely. All right. Uh, well, um, information coming here. Peter Wanyama is the lawyer here giving us a scope of what we should expect as Kenya. And uh, well, right here on Kivumbi 2017, definitely keeping you posted on the results as they come in and the developing stories as they continue. And I uh, would like to take a short commercial break, but we'll be right back where we'll look at the figures and continue with this conversation. This is Kivumbi 2017. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back.